What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Here's why I think Honda needs to recall and uh, give everyone out lifetime warranty on this ABS module. If you're getting all the lights in the dashboard, check engine, ABS, power steering, tire pressure light, it's due to this little guy. So what we're going to do is I just want to show you some things. First of all, you see this little wiring right here all around? If you watch the, my original part on this, um, you see the wiring right there? Those are, those, these, these wires are, these, these contacts are thinner than my hair on my head. Okay, but check this out. Those are the clear contacts that are broken on this little guy. And here's why, the reason why they should recall this. Okay, all they need to do is, Rebuild this baby, but they won't do that because it's gonna cost them a lot of money. They want your module to fail first of all and uh, Simple repair would be to take your uh, solder iron and solder the Simple as that simple as that. Okay, that's all you need to do But you got to send this baby out. I don't do it. I don't want to do it and I'm not taking the liability of doing it but all they need to do is, so you see this, this is a circuit board here. The only way the circuit board is connected to the circuits around it, which travel to the other side. So let's start off right here. First of all, this is your connector, okay? This connector, your ABS module connector connects here, and it travels, so these are the pins on the other side. And uh, this whole box itself is just a circuit of these wires, these pins, and these solenoids on the other side, these solenoids. And in the back, they attached a big circuit board, and the only way to connect that circuit board was to jump these wires. Okay, first of all, as me, as a, I studied circuit, so th this is a no-no, first of all. This gauge of wire is a no-no. This is way too thin, way too thin. Okay, so they could have done things Differently. So first of all, my question is, how come this is the only module that's failing? Because this is the only module that got these wires, okay? And uh, if, if you take a look at any of these modules, if I take this one apart right here, look at the difference. Look at the difference here. This actually connector, you connect your connector here, and that is connected, okay, let's take this apart. It's actually connected to your circuit board itself, okay? Direct connection, okay? Direct connection. There's no small, tiny, tiny cables going to it. So, uh, on this particular one, I was getting a code for one of these solenoids. Which one? Who knows? But what I did was, I took my little uh, multimeter here, I put this on a uh, continuity. So every time you get a continuity, it's gonna beep, just like that. It's gonna beep. So what I did was, uh, I am gonna connect this back here. We're gonna zoom in a bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit on this module. Okay, let's zoom on this module. So, here it is. This is your ABS module and I cut this baby open. And if we take this wire, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch one of these cables. And then on the back end, I am gonna touch my multimeter lead onto this ABS module, uh, solenoid, one of the solenoid. So that's the nearest one, okay? That is the nearest one to these cables. So I lost a contact there. Okay, let me go attach it back. So all I do is I'm gonna attach that there, and then I'm gonna see if it beeps. There you go. One of the broken wires go directly to the ABS module. I'm gonna give it another tip, listen to it. Just listen to this baby. Yeah, so that is the uh, reason why we was getting that solenoid code because it's broken. So pretty much it's broken. So if I take this and I touch it back here onto the circuit panel, there you go. We found the broken circuit. Okay. We found the broken circuit. So that's how simple that is. Okay, again, we're going to attempt one more time. We're gonna put this baby right here, and I am gonna. You guys gonna hear a beep very soon. 
Okay, did I get a good contact? Nope, I didn't get a good contact back there. It moves around too much. There you go. It's bad, Honda. This shit is bad. Okay, so clearly, these car, these, this wiring is broken right there to that particular solenoid. So pretty much, they travel right through it. These cables, these, these little uh, needle wires, they travel right through it. And that's how it makes a contact. Anyways, what they could have had done, they could have had created a circuit board. Uh, let me zoom out now. They could have had created the circuit board that could have had just attached in there. And uh, like it, it's like it's gonna have pins, like spider pins on the circuit board, thick ones, thick as these, pretty much be, it'll be a connector itself and it will push in. They could have done that, very simple solution. Or like when you open an iPhone, you will get a circuit that you could, a smaller connector, you could just disconnect it from this end to that end. They could have done that. They can recall this little guy and just create um, better or new ones, better one. So all I need is a bad new one to come in and I'm, I'm sure the new ones look the same, at the same fault. Anyway guys, thank you for watching part two. Attempting to repair this baby. I'm not doing it. I don't need to. And um, the reason why I don't want to do it is because it's a tiny, tiny circuit board. Um, th this is uh, tiny, tiny cables. But you can send it out to a certified uh, technician that does this kind of stuff. But like I said, there's a nearby computer repair store. I will just send my uh, module to him. And I am going to go over there. And uh, if he does it for me, I'm going to bring it back and... I'm not sure what I, honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do here because in order for me to do this, spend two, three hundred bucks on this baby, I need to warranty you, okay? I need to guarantee you, but that's the chance that I'm going to take, but that's the chance you would take. You would have to pay me part, I'm sorry, the labor, whatever it costs to repair, and it's yours. If it works out, it's yours. If it doesn't work out, it's still yours. Anyways, give it a thumbs up, but this should be a, a class recall or a lawsuit towards Honda and this is this is a no-no this is a no-no that's all I could say um, this would be a better design okay that's just too sensitive way too sensitive any guy anyway guys thank you for watching my video stay tuned for more videos I'm just gonna put this baby away and bye bye